Hey, it has been a long while since we did a bias and fallacy video. And I'm out here watching the goats and sheep while they graze. Check little guy and his mom over there. They are eating the grass between the potato plants. And then here comes a baby goat going to eat on my blackberries. Hey, get out of here. Go. Yeah. Get. This is why I got to be out here with them. So anyway, it's been a while since we uh, exercised our critical thinking muscles. So let's do that. Hey everybody, welcome back to Grumpy Acres. Like I said, it's been a while. And this is a great opportunity because I can watch the animals and film a video with you guys. And just, to, just have a really nice evening on a, on a beautiful day. Before we get going though, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and think about subscribing. And come come watch videos like this. Get the, get, give us the thumbs up if you like the video too. Alright, so what... What are the biases and fallacies? The so biases and fallacies are, are are logical disconnects that we have whenever we're arguing with people, debating, getting ideas across. And it's it's a function of critical thinking to understand what these are and, and how to get around them. And this video series is based off of the critical thinking cards from the School of Thought. And I'll put the link down below. You go check it out. Uh, you can you can get these resources and and, and download stuff and, and use them for your own benefit and and teach other people and help other people develop their critical thinking skills. The, so this video is going to be about the bias of the backfire effect and the fallacy of the anecdotal evidence. Okay, so what are these? First, the backfire effect. So the backfire effect is a cognitive disconnect that happens whenever you show somebody facts or give them statistics or, or make an argument that goes counter to what they they firmly believe and instead of swaying somebody it will backfire and they'll, they'll dig their heels in and they'll they'll fight against you even more a, a good example of this are conspiracy theorists and there are conspiracy theorists on both the left and the right side of the political spectrum so this is not this is not an ideological thing. It's just it's just people, and a, a common it's a, almost a trope, you know, in, in media. You tell the conspiracy theorist the truth about it, and the first thing he says is, "Well, that's what one of them would say," and you become part of the problem, then an ally or part of the solution. So, we need to make sure that whenever we're talking with somebody and they challenge our ideas that we don't just dig in our heels and ignore everything that they say because they might be telling us a little bit of truth or or, or hitting us with some facts and we need to be open open-minded enough to to take them in and and, and bring them into our, our thought process okay the second one the fallacy of anecdotal evidence this is whenever you make an argument and the other person responds with something incidental in their life and and because of this one incident this one incidental incident what you said is false and it it doesn't it, it, it's not true and a good example of this and i know a lot of people a lot of people have done this well grandma smoked 10 packs of cigarettes a day and she lived to be 91. well just because your grandmother smoked 10 packs of cigarettes a day and she lived to be 91 doesn't mean that cigarettes aren't unhealthy, right? So if somebody makes the argument, hey, cigarettes are bad for you, grandma's argument or gra the anecdotal evidence of grandma ain't good enough, man. You got you to look at the whole body of evidence there and, and, and not just one specific incident in your life. Okay, so how do we, how do we combat these things? So the, the biggest way we can combat both of these is having an open mind. If, if we're in a discussion with somebody we need to have an open mind and we we have to be ready to look at any evidence that they give us in its entirety not just one little aspect of it we can't dismiss it out of hand and dig our heels in but if we have an open mind then it becomes much easier to accept this new evidence the second way we can fight this is to be informed part of part of both of these is you have not studied the the topic at hand 
And so you're going off of very limited information. So you want to be well informed. You want to be well rounded and and make sure that you're you're getting information from all different resources. And that will also go towards keeping an open mind because you're already used to looking at other other resources. And finally, you combat it if if somebody confronts you with something that you don't like instead of fighting back or, or letting one of these biases and fallacies interfere with your thinking go do the research yourself go 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 either you know go debunk what they say or find out if with what they say is true but either way you're going out and you're looking for more evidence and you're, you're expanding your 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 thought process well that's about it for this month's fallacies and biases I hope you guys liked it liked it if you uh, if you enjoyed the video Go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Another way that you can increase your, your critical thinking skills is by getting a deck of without rule of law cards. And these are scenario based cards that, that give us moral and ethical dilemmas and we need and we have to think through it and we, we think through it by ourselves or we can do it with a group. But they will help you exercise your mind and, and start thinking about things differently. And you can get the cards down below at our affiliate link. Uh, they're a great thing and be on the watch out in june we're going to have another without rule of law live stream and it's going to be a killer all right listen if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber comment down below let me know what you think about these fallacies let me know if you've ever run across anybody that's that's you've witnessed this firsthand or if you've been a victim to it you know i know i have i, I owed somebody a breakfast because of my back of a backfire effect one time but interact with us. Let us know what you think about it. Most importantly, when you go out today, I want you to go out and live a life done free. Take care. <laughs> Thanks, Milo.